Hello world, cybercriminals have invented a new way of stealing your money. Well, it's not technically new, but this version of it is pretty remarkable. Take a look at this real life example. You're on a totally legit website that you trust and you're about to buy something. You select pay by credit card, enter your card details and hit pay. Totally normal, right? Well, no. Your card details have just been stolen by cybercriminals who will package them up along with those of thousands of other people before selling them on a dark web carding marketplace, perhaps even one that's Joe Biden themed, to some low-level cybercriminal who will empty your bank account. The culprit here is this thing. Its technical name is a modal box. It's a kind of overlay. They're often used to get cookie permissions, grab emails for newsletters, and to take payments. But this modal box is fake. The e-commerce store behind it, in this case a French travel accessory store, was hacked, and miscreants injected a malicious JavaScript into the checkout process such that when you select pay by credit card, their malicious modal box pops up to grab your card details. The crazy thing here is just how realistic it is. It mimics the color scheme and style of the website, and even incorporates the actual logo of the site though this has been blurred out by the researchers who discovered it. However, as soon as you hand over your payment details, you get an error that your payment has been declined before you're redirected to the real payment processor of the website, whose checkout page isn't anywhere near as good as the fake one. And in order to avoid raising your suspicions, a cookie is dropped by the malicious code embedded within the website, which ensures you don't actually see the fake payment box ever again. The only telltale sign that something isn't right with all of this is the link in the copyright notice, which points to some seemingly random South American payment processor, a sign that the bad actor here should take a little more care when copy-pasting their template. But regardless, this is good, well, bad, but it's good at being bad. This campaign was discovered by researchers at Malwarebytes, and this isn't an isolated case. The exact same template has been seen on multiple other e-commerce stores and is growing in popularity amongst Magecar cybercriminals. Magecar is a kind of umbrella term for cybercriminal gangs that specialize in e-commerce web skimmers. You will often see Magecar referred to as if it's a single group, but just like the name Anonymous doesn't refer to a single group, Magecar doesn't either. The name derives from the first known instances of web skimming, which targeted vulnerable Magento servers, and hence the name Magecart was born. But don't make the mistake of thinking that just because all these groups are referred to with the same name, that they're on the same team. Magecart groups won't turn down an opportunity to sabotage their competitors' operations. Some skimming malware is designed to check if the e-commerce store it's embedded on has already been hacked by a Magecart competitor. If so, it won't actually remove the competitor code, but will rather replace the last digit of the credit card number sent to the competitor with a random number, such that the reputation of their competitor is ruined when their customers realize the cards they bought just don't work. But how does Magecart hack e-commerce sites in the first place? There's a whole array of methods, some of which can be quite sophisticated. A few years ago, Ticketmaster customers became victims of Magecart thanks to Ticketmaster embedding a third-party chatbot within their payment page. The chatbot went on to be compromised, allowing a bad actor to inject malicious code right into the checkout process. But sometimes Magecart hacks aren't quite as complex. British Airways was compromised by Magecart a few years ago, which resulted in 380,000 people's credit card details being stolen. And in a report by the regulator, this was the result of a username and password of an admin account being stored in plain text in a folder on their server. In the case of Ticketmaster, 9.4 million people had their cred scooped up. And as per typical Magecart operations, these will have been sold on dark web forums for a fraction of their true value. In some cases, credit card details sell for as little as 15 cents. As we've seen, it's often difficult to tell whether the site you're giving your card details to is hacked, but chances are whether or not you take precautions like using disposable cards, which is a pretty good countermeasure, you'll likely get your money back anyway, or at least here in the UK that's the case. So arguably the biggest victim here are the e-commerce stores that the stolen credit cards are eventually used to make purchases on, because these purchases are almost always charged back by the real card owner, leaving the e-commerce store in the red. And it can be difficult for stores to spot fraudulent transactions before orders are shipped, because carding marketplaces make it easy to sort cards by state, city, and even zip code. So cybercriminals can purchase cards registered just a few miles away from their shipping address. This video is brought to you by PlexTrack, who are offering you a free one-month trial of their premier cybersecurity reporting and collaboration platform. Get started today to learn why the best offensive security teams trust PlexTrack.
Plex Track empowers users to build better reports in half the time, exponentially increasing ROI and time savings, to aggregate findings from all their tools by consolidating the testing process into one platform, creating a single source of truth, and to maximize their reusable report content, like findings, write-ups, and narratives, improving consistency across the team. With Plex Track, you'll become more efficient and effective, delivering better results from every engagement. Ready to elevate your reporting, improve collaboration across teams, and demonstrate real progress? Spend more time hacking and less time reporting with PlexTrack. Claim your free month of the PlexTrack platform exclusively for Satonic viewers using the link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.